Hi again guys, John V here from Phone Arena. I have the Samsung Galaxy Tab 8.9. I'm gonna run a couple different benchmark tests just see the type of results it's gonna get compared to some of the other stuff we've been checking out of late. And just right now, I'm just showing you what it looks like the home screen, the operation. You could tell for the most part, it is running fairly smoothly and responsive as we're navigating across the home screen. And even in portrait, it exhibits the same tones, which is pretty good just because with other, you know, with uh, other honeycomb devices we've checked out, there's a little bit of choppiness uh, with the Portrait or uh, portrait usage with the home screen, but it doesn't look like it's affected here with the uh, with the Galaxy Tab 8.9. It's running Android uh, 3.1 Honeycomb, uh, and, and you have the TouchWiz UX experience layered on top of it, so it that actually contribute to a little bit of a you know a performance uh, hitch here every now and then but for right now it's looking pretty decent you can tell opening up applications it jumps in a lot of nice visual effects and whatnot so it's pretty good uh, let's just quickly show you what it looks like with the live wallpaper here to see the type of performance it's going to show so let's just switch this over to a live wallpaper let's say for example this one here something a little bit more graphically or graphically intensive and it's running a dual core 1 gigahertz uh, NVIDIA Tegra 2 processor just like other honeycomb devices and of course already we're seeing just a significant amount of slowdown here with its operation you can tell with the live wallpaper it's kind of struggling as uh, you know it's uh, unable to keep up with our movement here you can see the uh, choppiness but real quick let's bring it back to uh, a static wallpaper here and then we'll run the uh, first benchmark test which is going to be uh, it's going to be quadrant. Let's just bring this back here like that. And let's just run that one first here. So quickly jump right into it. Already ran it once, but we'll run it two times here just to show you exactly the type of performance we'll get out of this. Let's close that there real quick again. Let's jump back into it. Okay, so here we go. Let's run this here. Let's take a look. So as we wait for these uh, graphical components to run here, this test. There we go, it's running right now. So far from what we're looking at here, the uh, graphical tests are pretty good. This one here is running at 30 frames per second, which is typically normal that we see. So smooth frame right there. Next one up, again still at the 30 frames per second mark, so that's pretty good. And should be one more graphical component test here, and this one too at 30 frames per second. So it should be wrapping up right now. And let's take a look and see what results we get with this one here. So from the looks of it, you get 2226 for the quadrant score, which is pretty good. Again, you know, better than some of the other devices out there. Well in line with other honeycomb devices, but not nothing really, uh, you know, mind blowing. Let's just run this one more time, just to see if we get a consistent score here, or if we get something better. Let's let this run here with the graphical components again. It does take a little bit of a time just getting it to run here, but there we go. And everything seems consi consistent so far, roughly 30 frames per second with all these graphical tests here. And next one should come up roughly around 30 frames per second on the average again. So pretty fluid with its execution here. And the last graphical test here, again, 30 frames per second. So we should get pretty much the same score, if not close to it. So this time around, we're going to get a quadrant score of 24.34. So a little bit better than before. So that's pretty good. Again, uh, nothing mind-blowing, but pretty respectable on, in its own. So let's run the, uh, the other one here, which is the uh, quadrant. I mean, the uh, Antutu benchmark test. Show you exactly what we got with it already. So let's put this in portrait, and you can tell here we have all the all the uh, we have the uh, tests completed here already. It gives a total score of 48.15. And again, that's a really great score, but nothing really mind bending. And when you compare it to some of the uh, rivals out there, such as the Galaxy S2, the LG Optimus X, 
2x. Uh, it's not on, it's close to those devices, but nothing really, uh, nothing really out there. Um, it does beat out things like the Motorola Zoom uh, a little bit, but for the most part, same performance. So there you go, guys. We'll be testing it out further, see how it handles. But if you'd like to learn more about the Samsung Galaxy Tab 8.9, you can check out our website, phonerena.com.